a story about hope and small town support as one Bertrand boy is fighting for his life in a Denver hospital after he and his sister were in a major car accident. The community around them is pitching in any way they can while the family stays by his side. As Lauren Bentley shares in tonight's edition of Show Us Something Good, there's nothing small about the love the Hanson family is getting during this tough time. This house right behind me is the house of the Hansons. Now currently they're going through a very difficult time as their son and daughter were involved in a serious car accident. But people here in Betran who love them are helping pitch in to renovate their house. small town is rooting for a small town boy as him and his family go through the unimaginable. They had left home uh, to come to Bible school and uh, as they crossed the highway um, didn't see this truck and the truck run right into them. Carson and Lily were immediately rushed to the hospital. Lily going into surgery to fix her broken femur and Carson going into surgery for a major brain injury. Both fighters working hard to heal. We've had a, a lot of roller coasters in this thing. Uh, one good day where you think things are going in the right direction, and then the next day things just would dive off and just, you know, just emotionally really difficult. And while their parents, Ashley and Tony Hansen, remain at the hospital with their children, back at home in Bertrand, a community is coming together to finish renovations on their new home. They're not only trying to do what we started, but they're trying to make it even better. And I think that's a really cool thing. Bill Ford, a teacher for nearly 30 years, is behind the project. I had nearly uh, seven or eight students working on this project, and so, Carson is a student, uh, the one that was injured, and, uh, and Ashley was a, a student, you know, uh, the mom and dad. The hard work and long hours on the home is all for free. They're really, really skilled. They're really skilled. They're way beyond my skills. And uh, so that, that makes me really feel good about that. But, but that's only secondary to their hearts. And Ford says that's what happens when you live in a small town. When this stuff happens and we come to the aid, we we'll see, we just think that's normal. And it really isn't normal. It, it really is a, it's a characteristic that the small town is all, is, is built upon. And while the family continues to have hope. Well, one thing I'll say is my daughter is not giving up. She is, she is uh, bound and determined to, you know, get her son back. And think about the mark Carson leaves on their hearts. You know, and I can bring up a girl or a different little thing that happened and just get that smile, you know, anytime I wanted to. And so uh, that, that's the special part of him. They know that back home, they have a whole community waiting for them to return. Before all this happened, that the reason to move in a small town is because everybody knows what you're doing, but when you need something, they're all for, here for you, so 